Stable Diffusion 3 is now out and you can use it pretty much straight away, giving you incredible abilities to generate high quality images with actually pretty accurate text and many other exciting things. The only catch is that you currently can't use it for commercial purposes and on top of this, you need to use something like Comfy UI in order to get images generated as it's not yet supported in things like Stable Diffusion Web UI. Don't worry them, if you haven't got Comfy UI installed, you'll find a link down below to a video explaining my one-line installer. It's by far the simplest way to get this set up and running on your system and all of the requirements. And of course, it's completely free and open source for everyone. You don't need to support me unless you really want to. Anyways, now in order to download and use Stable Diffusion 3, you'll need to head across to the Hugging Face page for it, which we'll do now. In the description down below, you'll find this page, Stable Diffusion 3 Medium. This should work on most people's graphics cards, especially if you've got mid to high tier ones. This is currently the only one we have access to, and it was released just a couple of days ago. I'm a little bit late, but I had to create a Comfy UI installer. Anyways, when you get to this page over here, all you need to do is log in as such. And if you don't already have an account, you'll need to create one now. This is because we'll need to accept a license agreement and essentially say we won't use it for commercial purposes as well as some other legal jargon. Anyways, this is completely free and everyone can do it. Okay, so logging in and heading across to the files and versions tab, in here we'll put in our name, email, country, and organization or affiliation, which I'll just put none, and we can choose to possibly receive emails if you want. I'll choose no here, and that's pretty much it. Tick the box at the very bottom after filling in your info and click agree and access. So there we go, we have collected and now we can get the actual downloads done. Over here you'll find a couple of different models listed over here. Let me scoot across, SD3 medium safe tensors as well as including clips and a couple of ones below this which have different floating point settings. The bigger usually the more accurate it'll be but it really doesn't matter. I'd recommend downloading the safe tensors including clips over here as it's the simplest easiest way to get things done. So just click the small download button right next to SD3 medium including clips dot safe tensors and it'll start the download. That's it. Should you choose to download it without clip, you can use the text encoders just above and you'll find the clip models here if you know how to set these up yourself. Also, because we'll be using Comfy UI, you'll also find a Comfy example workflow at the very top, which I'd also recommend you go to, and we can download these as well as we'll be using them. I'll download the basic one for now. That's it. We'll wait for this to finish downloading, and we'll extract it to the correct folder. And there we go. Now that the download is done, in order to install it, you'll need to drop it in the models folder. So, if you install Comfy UI using my installer, just right click the shortcut on your desktop, open a file location, and you'll be taken across to the Comfy UI install folder, which should look something like this. In here, head into Comfy UI, followed by models, and then checkpoints. This is where we'll be dropping this SD3 medium checkpoint as such. We'll move it across, and there we go. Now, we'll go ahead and launch Comfy UI, and once it's done starting up, you'll see the usual Comfy UI. What we need to do is click load in the bottom right, then navigate across to and select one of the JSON on files we downloaded, which are the Comfy UI workflows. I'll select the basic demo one, and there we go. Now that it is done loading, we have everything we need set up here. Starting at the very left side, we select the model, just make sure the correct one is selected here. So click over here and choose SD3 medium if you haven't already got it. And if you've downloaded the model with clip included, just grab the clip marker over here, the yellow dot, and drag it down to the opening clip point here on the clip text encode. Then we'll need to do it as well down here for the negative prompt too. So I'll drag from here to the negative prompt here as such. And now we've selected that we won't be using separate clips, which you could download and install should you wish, as they are built into the model as such. There we go. We'll click Q prompt and we should immediately see that work starts happening. So the model is loaded. It's busy sampling and stepping through the image generation. And on the far right, currently using, let's see, maybe about 10 or so gigs of RAM, probably seven or six of them are the actual model itself. I am recording, so it is going to be a little bit slow. But anyways, it'll evade a code and shortly after. And there we go. Our final image is outputted here. We'd of course open this in a new tab and there we go. A fan fantastic 
generation. But the reason we downloaded Stable Diffusion 3 in particular is because of its incredible text handling. So we'll go ahead and remove pretty much everything here, and I'll leave the negative as is. For the text prompt, let's try something interesting like Dumbledore in Tokyo in front of Stable Diffusion 3 Cafe. Let's see how this comes out. So we'll cue the prompt and wait for this to finish. This could take a short while, especially if you have a lower powered GPU. If you do, head across to the far left and look at the SD3 latent image over here. It's currently using 1024 by 1024, which is the usual generation size for Stable Diffusion 3, but it should still work at around 512 by 512. As long as it's a multiple of 64, we should be fine. So you can drop this to 512 by 512 if you need a lower powered generation on lower powered systems. For me though, this is fine. It just takes a little bit longer. Anyways, scrolling across to the far right, yeah, we got, uh, I suppose, maybe Dumbledore in front of Coffee Cafe. Uh, let's try something a bit better. Maybe a wizard on a mansion with the word Stable Diffusion 3 above them. Let's try this. And we seem to be doing quite a bit better. We have a wizard on a mansion with Stable Diffusion 3 above. It's not exactly perfect, but it's much better than what we had before. Let's try generating it again, but we need to first tell it to use a randomized seed. So zooming into the far left for the seed section over here, I'll click the bottom one and change it to randomize. We'll then cue it once more and see what comes out. And yeah, this is a little bit better. Obviously you can improve this with better prompting, for example. I'll see if I can find something a bit better to run through it. But yeah, the image does seem to be pretty good. That's already coming out of this. Obviously things will get even better as Stable Diffusion 3 is fine tuned as this is currently just a normal raw plane model. People will definitely be adding stylization to this, much like the realistic ones that we had before. Anyways, there's a huge amount in front of Stable Diffusion 3, and this is a huge, exciting improvement, especially over SDXL, which was okay with text, but not the best. Let's try a Come For You While logo, see what comes out. And it's okay, maybe a bit more fine tuned, and we'll get rid of the negative prompt entirely. So a dark Come For You While logo that says Comfy UI. And yeah, I mean, I, I suppose it's kind of okay. Text is something that a lot of AI struggles with, and this is unfortunately still one of them. AI is as worse now as it's ever going to be, but things are going to improve in the future. With fine-tuning, text handling may improve here, but obviously SD3 is still going to create images that are way better and way more realistic than most models out there currently. Having better text understanding, even though it's not really showing him, is definitely something good, especially compared to SDXL's performance, which is just horrendous compared to this. And yeah, I mean, it's creating some pretty good looking images. Already at 1024 by 1024, so there's not necessarily a need for upscaling. Things just look pretty good off the bat. While it still struggles a little bit with hands, obviously. Anyways, that's really it. You now know how to install and use Stable Diffusion 3 inside of Comfy UI, and I should have given you a relatively good rundown of exactly what you need to do to get the Comfy UI working off of the basic demo just so you can get things started especially if you've never used Comfy UI before. Obviously this is eventually going to come across to things like Stable Diffusion Web UI so you can use all of your favorite normal plugins although most of the plugins are actually available here it's just a little bit more confusing to use them especially in a node-based editor such as this one here. Hopefully you found this video useful. Once again if you haven't gotten Comfy UI installed you'll find a link down below on a guide showing you exactly how to do that and that's it so thank you for watching my name's been Jobbleshoot and a special thank you to Superior Emerald my first ultimate supporter I'll see you all next time ciao